once you break out of that and you realize that within that band we are having an experience, but it's not who we are, then you start to open yourself to much greater levels of awareness. Not because you're special or you, 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 you have to sit cross-legged on a mountain or meditate in a cave for 30 years. You just have to move your point of self-identity, your, move, your point of um, observation of self in the world from I am you know, Charlie Jones, uh, to I am infinite consciousness having an experience as Charlie Jones. And when people do that, it's happened to me, the shift that takes place, instead of... It's quantum. Stay there. Got a break. David Icke. Key information. In the time we have left, 35 minutes roughly with David Icke, I want to spend a little bit more time on the nature of reality let him finish that point and then i want to get into some of the latest things developing inside the new world order inside this false paradigm they have uh, created uh, going back to david i'm trying to make a point about the, the awakening someone you talked to when you were in new mexico yeah uh you know it, it's funny how how life goes you know when i uh, first began to consciously wake up myself about 20 years ago um, I, I went through a real challenging time because, uh, you know, the top of my head opened and, and, and information came in that was so vast and so, uh, you know, amazing. And uh, it, it, the volume of it that basically I had a period of about three months when um, it was like you press too many keys on a computer and the computer freezes and goes, I can't, I can't filter this. I can't compute this. I'm freezing. And after that uh, three months uh, uh, happened, I kind of everything morphed back into uh, I was the guy I was before, but I saw the world completely differently. And one of the things that I, I, I picked up at that time was that there is a site. There was a cycle coming um, of a vibrational change that was going to wake people up from this amnesia, and there seemed no chance of it at the time. There's no sign of it. And the first book I ever wrote after I had my awakening experience, I actually called Truth Vibrations because uh, after this uh, vibrational change that was going to bring all that had been hidden to the surface so people could see it, and I, I like, again, I've, where's the evidence? But 20 years later, look at it. And I, I am seeing, as I travel around the world, this incredible awakening that's going on. Um, and uh, yeah, I met a lovely guy in uh, Santa Fe at uh, the talk yesterday um, who'd come from Texas, and he said to me, three months ago, I was totally asleep, and three months later, he's coming to an event. He's flying from Texas to Santa Fe to, to this event. And people are, are, are waking up so fast. And it's this awakening that um, is uh, the real point, I would suggest, of what's going on in terms of all this new world order. It's absolutely no accident that they are throwing everything at us and they're preparing to throw everything everything they can in the next few years um, at us at the time this awakening's taken place. I mean, I picked up a long time ago, years ago, that um, the, the core, the inner core of this new world order absolutely knew that this awakening was coming and this, this vibrational cycle was coming uh, that was going to awaken people to their, their true nature. And, and they're battling and battling to keep the lid on it. And what's fantastic, Alex, is, 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 is a wonderful line in the sand that we can, we can stand together on number of people who are seeing this swine flu uh, vaccine for what it is. You imagine, mate, 10 years ago, if, they, if, they, if they'd have played this, people had just lined up, not even thought about it. Look at the change that's taking place. And it's happening so fast, it's an exponential curve. Uh, and what we're looking at is the um, irresistible force, which is this awakening, is coming face to face with the immovable object, the conspiracy, which thinks it's immovable, but isn't wishful thinking, Mr. Rothschild and co. And they are going to push forward with this for a, a, a while. And it's going to seem as if it's, or, or, you know, it's going the wrong way and all is lost. But by 2016, this whole control system's coming down. Why? Because it's a vibrational construct like everything is. And as we awaken and this vibrational change takes place, that construct is going to be unpicked. It cannot survive this. It cannot. And what we need to do, I strongly suggest, is slow the progress down of this um, uh, conspiracy as much as we can um, so that it's not 
as, as extreme by the time it goes down as it will be if we do nothing. We need to slow it down its progress through non-cooperation. It only exists because we cooperate with it. There, there are a handful of people comparatively at the core of this who know full, in full knowledge what's happening, why, and, and what it's for. You know, we've got the numbers. We, we, we stop uh, cooperating with our own enslavement and we'll slow this down very, very fast. As, as we're showing with the swine flu vaccination, they are not going to get the numbers they wanted. They're not, and they're going to try to up the ante to get them. We must keep that backbone stiff and not succumb to it. Absolutely, David. And, and you see them losing more and more ground. You see them panicking as they try to shift us into a new paradigm of even greater dehumanization and yep. tyranny, where torture and war and death and secret police are the new goodness they are trying to, they understand we're awakening and shifting out of their present tyranny. So they're trying to do a judo move and bring us into even greater oppression. But at every point, their control is collapsing. And as you said, we've got to slow them down because they're going to throw everything at us, including World War III. And it's going to be deadly dangerous. We're